Welcome to Uncut. I'm Steve Adubato. We're honored to be joined by uh, Dr. Nancy Cantor, Chancellor of Rutgers University in Newark, my alma mater. It is a uh, great university, to say the least. And Nancy, I, I want to do this. You joined us on our public television conversation, talked about race on uh, Confronting Racism, a series we're doing called Confronting Racism. But here's my question to you right now. Why do you think it's so hard for so many of us, white, black, and brown, to talk honestly, painfully, but in a very real way about race and more importantly, racism. Why is it so hard? People say, don't talk about that. You know, as a social psychologist, I've thought about this question my entire career and I can't quite figure it out. And I go back to my childhood riding the subways in New York City. And it was natural to talk about race and culture and language, because everybody was there, right? It wasn't split off. The neighborhoods were mixed. The neighborhoods had people of wealth and they had people of poverty. The neighborhoods had people who saw each other as people. The problem for us and the, ra the racial wealth gap really shows this is that we have divided so extraordinarily now. That are we, we more segregated be, than ever, doctor? We are more segregated than ever. Do you know that New Jersey schools are more segregated than the Southern schools when Brown v. Board? B B 1954, Brown versus Board of Education, more well, segregated than then? Then came after that. And by the way, you're talking about a university, Rutgers University in Newark, I know well, the most diverse, one of the most diverse campuses in, in the nation, according to US News and World Report. Am I wrong on that? You are absolutely right. So what does I diversity bring you, us, Nancy? That one I'll take. Okay, what is diversity? People say diversity, some people say diversity is overrated. What does diversity bring us? Yeah, so you know, I wanna talk about diversity versus race because people are getting into that conversation. Sure. And I think it's actually very, very important. One of the things that diversity can do is it can take you down a path where you smooth out everything, right? Oh, there are all these differences, differences of opinion, differences of this, differences of that. And that allows you to paper over racial inequity and systemic racism that keeps us apart. On the other hand, if you take a really substantive view of diversity, you think about the intersectionality that unpacks race. I mean, one of the most interesting things in this country has been the degree to which race and immigration status have combined, right? So you, when we think about our documented and our undocumented students, they come from black and brown families from all kinds of cultural and faith and racial backgrounds. Nancy, stay right there. So when President Trump said, we don't need more people from those s-hole countries, we know where he was talking about. Is that a dog whistle? Forget about a dog whistle. So that's a very loud shout and a whistle to those who feel a certain way, or am I mischaracterizing you, that? I couldn't agree more. I think that's one of the most racist statements in the world, and I'll probably get in trouble for saying it. But there is no question in my mind that when you say that about immigration, you're talking about race. After and when all, the president says, I'm not at all talking about race. I'm just talking about course. having people come here who have more to offer our country. And I think he's talking, they're like, already well-educated. Economically, they can pay taxes. and. Undocumented New Jerseyans pay millions and millions of dollars in taxes. My undocumented students will create businesses. They will create artistic, civic life in this country. They will be the future. And, you know, I don't know who he's thinking is going to be our future because it sure isn't going to be our past. Yeah. Um, Nancy, what are the reasons for you to be, for us to be 
optimistic about race relations, racism moving forward? The hope of our nation at this very moment is the next generation. Those are the change makers. And they have come from many different paths. I look at our students. I look at our students who have re-entered education after being in prison. And what they have to contribute is extraordinary. I look at our students who have undocumented families and what they have to contribute is incredible. I look at our Black Lives Matter students and they know the history of racial segregation in this country and they know they don't want to see that anymore. Right. So that's the hope. But let me remind everybody, we are not going to build a healthy society unless those students have opportunities. If we don't invest in education, in entrepreneurship, in housing, in opportunities for safety and health, we are not going to use their talent and we won't build a better world. Well we said. Could. We could. We could. Um, that's Dr. Nancy Cantor, who is the Chancellor of Rutgers University in Newark. The, the, the university is fortunate to have her. The state uh, is fortunate to have her. We all are. Nancy, um, thank, you, thank you, my friend. You shed great light and offered important wisdom. All the best, Nancy. Thank you. You too. I'm Steve Adubato. Catch you next time.